have an exciting hearing today on NASA's efforts to save the world, literally. The House Committee on Space, Science, and Technology recently met to discuss NASA's plan to defend the planet from asteroids and near-Earth objects. Chairman Babin began with a dire warning. While most NEOs are harmless, those exceeding a certain size could cause catastrophic, even extinction-level impacts. Experts from the space community, including Nicola Fox, the Associate Administrator at NASA, outlined the space agency's past projects and future plans. First with the DART initiative in 2022, NASA successfully demonstrated one method of the asteroid deflection using the kinetic impact of spacecraft with the double asteroid redirection test, or DART. And now with the NEO Surveyor mission, which is a space-based telescope designed to detect asteroids headed to Earth. The mission will improve NASA's ability to discover and then to define the sizes and the orbits of the NEOs. According to the witnesses, the use of emerging technologies like AI can also be utilized to detect asteroids and near-Earth objects. So um, the work that the Minor Planet Center has been doing in this area is to try and use AI techniques to leverage the vast amount of data that we already have on NEOs, asteroids, use that as a training set to help these AI uh, models understand what does an asteroid look like that's harmful versus one that's harmless. And so once one's trained them, you can then use them to try and um, look at the data that's flowing into us to very rapidly and accurately pick out the NEOs from the data flow that's coming in. The biggest hope for the future is the NEO surveyor mission and the use of infrared technology. How will the infrared observations um, from the NEO survey mission, which you lead, how is that going to really improve our ability to model the, the impacts? Help us understand that. It'll benefit, benefit us in a couple of ways. Uh, it'll help us find the objects, including the dark fraction of the population, which we think is sort of roughly 40, 35 to 40 percent or so of the population. Uh, and it will also help us measure the sizes, because we can quickly convert the infrared fluxes into a diameter as soon as we get an orbit from the Minor Planet Center. Uh, that actually tells us a lot about how potentially hazardous something is, just because that's such an important component to the impact energy. As the hearing concluded, Committee members expressed bipartisan support and global participation, but concerns remain about the possible top-line budget cuts at NASA. Uh, we await the, um, the full um, president's budget so we can see the priorities and the direction on which missions um, may be supported or not supported. 